today in class my professor was like oh yeah you have a dress code it's business attire and I was like, okay that's not a problem but it is kind of a problem because now you're giving me an excuse to go spend some more money and go shopping but <laughs> yeah so I think I think this semester is gonna be really fun and I just want y'all to stay tuned <laughs> sitting in a whole bunch of ants oh my goodness I am sitting in a lot of ants oh my goodness so many ants so I don't know if you noticed this but my scenery is like a little bit different I'm actually in a different location and I will reveal why in just a second I'm gonna squat back here because I was sitting in ants yeah I'm gonna squat right here and so, as you can tell from the title of this video, I am going back to school. So, the school I got accepted into, I'm sure you want to know the name of it, but I thought about something better. Let's go ahead and open the letter. be funny if this was like a, a denial but I know it's not because I did I did my background research and I know what's up okay so this is really weird because like I'm kind of like on my strip of campus so like a lot of people keep walking by <laughs> but oh I kind of gave it away yeah I am on campus so if you could read here Like, I'm super excited. I knew that I was accepted, but I hadn't officially opened the letter yet. I got so excited and just kind of like came to campus. Hello. <laughs> Good, how are y'all? I am so sorry that I have not been vlogging as much as I usually have. To now I'm gonna try to upload two videos a week. Um, but everything that's been going on with the hurricane, Hurricane Harvey, and trying to just get back in the swing of things, um, campus was closed for a week and a half, and so now I'm just trying to get back in the motion of, uh, you know, being loyal to y'all and, you know, up keeping my update regimen or upload regimen and, you know, giving y'all something to view. And now that I'm here on campus, I'll have a lot more things to show y'all. Today we have um, we have an assembly for the president, um, kind of like welcoming the students to their first day of campus, welcoming the freshmen and everything like that. So um, I'll show y'all a little bit of that. And yeah, just walk around on technically my first day of class and it's kind of like half canceled. Like my classes are canceled because we have this assembly. So yeah, I'm, I'm chilling right now. the hoops that I have been jumping through it's just out of this world 
As a transfer student, I kind of thought that life, where I left it off at university, because I used to attend Lamar University, you feel me? There, it was easy because I had friends to help me acclimate to like the college life. But now it's like, I'm here. I don't have any friends, I don't know anybody. And I have to do the whole freshman. <laughs> After the whole freshman experience over again as a transfer, and it sucks because it's like, dude, like where my life was at my other school compared to where it is now, it's like I'm a ghost. Like, no one knows me, I don't know where anything is, I don't know about any events. For example, today we had an assembly for the um, week of welcome for like the first week of school, just pretty much, you know, helping students, you know jump jump start their drive and ambitions towards their goals and what they're trying to achieve throughout this semester and really this whole year and continue on into their life. There are three things that happen just in that little time span of that assembly which made me realize that I am not fit to be a transfer student. Like I think I'm about to quit school. So the first thing that happened was Everybody said, go to the baby dome, you know, this is where this assembly is going to take place. And I'm looking like, where is this baby dome? I guess common sense would work itself out and say that the baby dome is going to be the baby dome in the middle of the campus and therefore... Um, you should know where it is. <laughs> so I also used common sense and went ahead and just followed the crowd of people. You know, try to use those things. Problem number one, point A. Okay, so problem one A. Okay, so I get into the baby dome, right? And I realize, like, if I was at my old school, hmm, what would I be doing right now? Yeah, I would be on my phone. Hey girl, where you at? Yeah, I'm over here on this side. Okay, okay. Let me know when you get here so we can like sit together. Yeah, no. I couldn't do that, okay? I don't have any friends. I don't have any numbers. I don't have any contacts. I don't have anybody to call. So when I walked into the baby dome, okay, I just walked up the stairs and I looked for a seat. Now, the smart thing to do would to be would, would be to find one seat that was, you know, you know, a decent size for me. Like, you know, you find one seat and, and you just sit down like it's not that hard. Yeah, I want to make things a lot more complex, which takes me into problem number two. I want to be difficult. I want to go in the baby dome and instead of finding one chair that's off to itself, I wanted a whole road to myself. I didn't want any chances of anybody asking me anything. So down way far over there, I see a chair about four seats by themselves. I'm like, okay, yeah, the one at the very end, that has my name on it. So I have to scooch through people to get to those four seats. So I'm up here, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, yeah, I wanna go over there, excuse me. So finally I get to the four seats and I go to the very last one and I sit down. The next thing you know that I hear is like, these people want to come over here, act like they know what they're doing, don't know how things work over here and just want to sit down and take people's seats. It's like seven guys standing up behind me. I wanted to look, but I didn't want to make eye contact, so I did one of these right here. You know, look from the top corner of your eyes, but you know you really can't see anything because you're too scared to turn around. Yeah, I did one of those looks, okay? There was no one else around me. Like, I sat in the area, like, by myself. But they ended up, like, walking off. And the reason why I knew for a fact that they were uh, talking about me was because four seats down, there was, like, three other gentlemen sitting. And these gentlemen ended up getting up. <laughs> And like leaving the section too because I guess their friends weren't sitting with them. And then like what solidified it was that for the fact that they were all wearing jerseys. I just took the football player seats like, <laughs> I'm sorry.
<laughs> if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't know. So this is gonna be 2A. They had this alumni, um, the alumni lady come speak and, you know, tell us about, you know, how it was when she was here and, you know, just, you know, how it feels to be back and everything like that. But one part, several parts of her speech stood out to me, but one part that stood out to me was when she was like, yeah, about seven years ago, I sat right there in those bleachers in the freshman section. Again, I'm sitting in the wrong section. I'm sitting, I didn't know I was sitting in the freshman section. I walk around campus already and people think that I'm a freshman because on here, this campus is so weird. Like y'all dress up every single day like y'all are going to a club. Business attires, heels, like club dresses. Like, I don't know if you know this, but I'm wearing some tennis shoes, some socks, some ankle socks, some tights, and a black t-shirt. I'm wearing black from head to toe. Like, Lamar didn't do that. Like, we, we dressed up, but it was like, you know, at your own willing. Like, here, it's like you dress to impress all day, every day. Like, that's like, that's like a given, like, like, you have to dress up. You never know when a red carpet's gonna roll out. I like, I just see people looking at me like, you know, who is this chick like? You know, like, she doesn't look young enough to be a freshman, but she doesn't act like an upperclassman either. So, like, who is she? Anyways, moving on. After the assembly, it was time to go, right? Before they left, everybody got up and started running around the baby dome and dancing, like, in unison. And I'm looking like, what is this? <laughs> Everybody broke out in flash mob. They broke out in flash mob. And I'm just standing there looking and people are running into me and I'm just standing there and they're looking at me like, what's wrong with you? Like dance. And I'm like, I don't know what y'all are dancing. Like, I don't know the moves. Like I'm gonna have to sit this one out, watch and learn and then maybe join in next time. But y'all are doing a lot of exercise and I, I just don't know if I can keep up right now. Like I really, don't know if I keep up and so that was like another thing um, but at the end of it all they finally stopped running around <laughs> and and this was like school spirit but you know I'm not you know trying to like throw shade or anything I just didn't know what y'all were doing so I couldn't like join in so after this this, the, this was probably like the worst part of it of it all like what to do afterwards so we break up and everybody starts going their own direction and in my head i'm like okay what should i do now um i have an idea let's follow the crowd again it got me to the right place the first time it's gonna get me to the right place again okay so i'm following everybody's walking everybody's leaving the baby dome we're walking we're walking we're walking and next thing you know I see half the crowd split left and half the crowd split right. So I'm like, okay, left or right, left or right. Personally, I'm right-handed. I like the right, so I went with the right, okay? And all of us go and we're split off and I'm following the right crowd. And then I guess it was the wrong crowd because now I'm seeing all these people dressed up and I'm the only person dressed down. And, and they're all in the student center. And I'm like, you know what? I gotta flip this, you feel me? Cause I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel like I fit in here. So what I ended up doing was, was like, oh, I'm hungry anyways. That's where they serve food. So I'm gonna just act like I came in here to get some food. So I'm in line waiting for food. I'm waiting patiently. Next thing you know, all these people come and just like straight get in front of me. Look, I know I'm invisible, 
Like, we, we not finna skip me, especially when I'm hungry. So I end up going back around them, and they're looking at me crazy, and I'm looking at them crazy. But I'm like, look, it's a crazy look, but I don't want any drama. I just wanted to let y'all know that y'all got in front of me, and I wasn't going to have it. You feel me? So they understood that. We both respected it. And it just, you know, it was an Indian skip type of thing. Like, they skip me, I skip them back. Indian skip, that was the solution. So I got in, I got my food, I made myself a delicious salad. And I looked around and I was like, dang, this is another situation where I would have picked up my phone and been like, hey girl, where you at? Girl, I'm in the D hall. That's dining hall for y'all that don't know, but I don't know what they call it here, but I'm gonna call it the D hall. Um, but yeah, hey girl, I'm in the D hall. Um, where you at? Cause um, you know, I'm finna go get this table and you know, if you wanna come eat, I'm gonna be here eating. Okay, yeah, no, I couldn't do that. I don't have any friends. You know, on the first day of school, you know, when you don't have any friends and you don't know where to sit, so you end up sitting in the middle of the cafeteria because, like, that's, like, literally the only table that's open and the table's, like, way too big for you and you just kind of just sit down anyways and just eat like a loner. Yeah, that was me. Like, for some reason, the only table that was available was a five-person table in the middle of the cafeteria. I sat down, I ate my salad, and best believe I felt pitiful. So I know people were looking at me like, this girl looks pitiful. But it's okay, though. I ate my salad. I ate it, but I was uncomfortable, so I didn't finish it. Um, but it was good, the parts that I did eat. So then I was like, so do I leave this here? Because at my old school, we just left our plates on the table when we were done eating. Like, we just left it on the, pl the table and, and we left and, like, somebody would come and, like, clean the table off. Well, they have a whole little dish pit. I picked that up. So... I figured it out, I grabbed my stuff, I put it in the dish pit. I was like, do I scrape Do I scrape my plates off? Do I, do I dump my drink out? Oh, no, I just said it, just said it there? Oh, okay. So I set my dish on the little conveyor belt and it took it all the way back. And then after that, I left. Now, those were the three worst things that, or few worst things that happened to me today. Um, just really trying to figure out, you know, how things work here. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's really what happened. I want to say that this, my channel is going to take a new direction. I'm just going to show y'all how I grow as a transfer student back to being someone who's no longer a transfer student, but someone who's now a part of the community because, yeah, I, I feel like I, I stick out like a sore thumb and, um, if you are a transfer student or if you're a new student on any campus, university, high school, middle school, elementary school, I'm going to tell you the best thing you can ever invest in is some headphones because I tell you, boy, every single day I'm going to be walking to and from class with headphones on just so I don't look like I'm staring into the uh, sky like what more does life have to offer? Um, <laughs> Y'all pray for me and hope that this gets better because mm, this ain't what's up. <laughs>